Google will make sure I'm not sure because uh, the first state is 32 points. If uh, if I remember right, the coefficient uh, you have to multiply by 2.5. Right? Well, we will see. We'll find out. Very, very, very hard. And we've got one more low level test to come. I'm gonna look. Will be again interesting bout. Both of them were facing very good in, on their semi-finals, and I'm looking very much forward to see what how they will perform in the final. Because it's, it's different when you face on the semi-final and when you face for the golf medal. <laughs> well, guess what? Natalia Bateo is yeah. going to be back tomorrow yeah. and fence as a cadet. All right. This should be a very good match. We've got... Lorenzo Roma to your left, George Dragomir to your right. Is that Pascal Cantin as the uh, referee? Uh, the light's kind of funny. From Canada. Yes, I think so, from this point. Yeah. It's difficult because exactly the lighting. Yes, I think this is Pascal. And no. It's oh Alexander no. Schiffers is the video review. Yeah, this is Pascal. I recognize by, by the, the voice, voice. <laughs> from here. Okay. Roma threw on the attack for his first. Dragomir goes looking for the blade there. And I think in, a, in the wrong line. Yeah. And also too early. He's challenging this, but for me, it doesn't matter that that Roma was attacking and moving on the fire drain because because Dragomir is moving also backward and trying to defend and after that both of them one of them is attacking and the other please back we will see their Video. decision yeah yeah call stands because it was like this again Dragomir yes. is looking for the for the blade in the wrong place. Yes, and he hurry uh, so much. Relax. <laughs> what do we have here? Changing something happened with the with the I think the body wire or no? Yes, the yeah, body, body wire. wire. Yeah. yeah. Well, maybe this will give Dragomir the opportunity to yeah, think. Yeah, I think that this is uh, for him. This break, it's uh, good. Uh, he need uh, he need it because from the beginning of the match, he I think uh, he's uh, he's rushing. Uh, he's trying uh, to risk again, but uh, but the distance was not right. The timing is not right, and it's it's a pity when you try, for example, to take uh, a three parry repost in a row and they are. Uh, okay, all of them is not working. No. Try to do another thing, not uh, not and uh, not con to continue with. Well, it. Not only were they not working, yes, but exactly. they were in the wrong place. Yeah, exactly. But uh, but we cannot take uh, from Roma that he is fencing very good, the Italian fencer. Smooth and deep uh, uh, attacks and timing. It's right and everything but we will see the, the score is only 5-2 well we know how quickly things can change in Sabre but I think this break uh, maybe will help Dragomir I think we're going to find out really fast yeah Okay, here we go. Body wire is changed. Has Dragomir. Yeah, 
Yes, he has to check also, not only <laughs> one of them to test. Well, I think time. maybe it has. Yeah. Because now Roma took the ferry too earlier. Yeah, but again, he was looking for the blade, Dragomir. Yes, but when you are one of uh, one opponent, you are attacking you, you can try stop, breach the fair or parry repulse them. Unfortunately, for him, the parry was not in the right line. But he's fencing better now after yeah. the break than before. He it's looks less him. nervous. Yeah, exactly. And, and changing, you can see he move also more forward and and move more backward, allow the Roma to come more forward, not only on the middle. Well, again, looking for the, looking for the blade, and uh, this has been his downfall as we go to the first, well, the only one minute break in this gold medal match. And Dragomir, after the body wire change, did look better and more settled. Yeah. But It'd then again, Lorenzo Roma has got something to do with that, doesn't he? Yeah. And we can see Roma looking very confident talking to his coach. Dragomir, not so much. Oh, I think the difference is not so big, 8-4. Dragomir can change the things in the match, but he has to, to change also the way of fencing. Because it's very comfortable for, uh, for Roma to do his attacks and to finish the attacks. like this, counter-attack fast and repost. Well, it's Dragomir's attack. He's got it back within three, and uh, Roma challenges. And uh, Dragomir surrenders his weapon. I know sometimes when things aren't going the way you want them to go, that that's a, a change is yeah, yeah. something you... But the things are working for him. Why is he changing? Uh, maybe it was broken or something. Yeah. Because usually you're changing the blade when you want to, to buy some time to, yeah. to think what to do next. But not in this case, but we will see. It's yeah, it, okay. it, Roma's distance control is it's so good. Yeah, it's very good. You can see he move exactly the distance backward, what he need to the opponent to be short, and after that finish easier the repose. Well, you know that you know when you've got you know a Tarantino in your box, that um, that this is danger for you also. Yeah. Well, no, I mean it's <laughs> yeah. it, he's been he, he's he's been analyzing you. Yeah. But he behaved very, very good the whole tournament. Mm -hmm. I was watching for him. <laughs> <laughs> the, the score is 10 6. Well, on current form, that seems like an insurmountable lead for George Dragomir, and it's becoming more insurmountable now. This is not the form we saw in the, in the semifinal. No. 
but also we cannot take from Ro uh, from Roma he uh, from Lorenzo he is fencing like a champion yeah Premier no repost yeah this was correct so we need this touch now Yeah. You have to stop the bout when the one of the fencer have three points of touching the Yeah, his the knee paste. touched the piece. Yeah, knee touched the piece and he was at the same time with three points. And he didn't this uh, with purpose to stop because sometimes the fencer are doing this with purpose to stop the attack of the opponent. But for me this was not in this case. He just <laughs> Uh, Pascal Cantan's going to go straight to the video. Yeah, this difficult call, but I think this attack from Lorenzo was on the blade or on the guard and repost. Yeah, he was teaching more the blade, and Dragomir was went through. So it was correct call. No, the refereeing for both semi-finals and finals by now it's very good. Uh, nothing that uh, Dragomir is doing is working. No, and he kind of just stayed in there yeah, and yeah. waved his blade around yeah, trying yeah. to get a, a stop hit. But also on the other on the other hand he is satisfied. This is a uh, silver medal also for him and this is good su this is success. Yeah. But well, I, I'm not sure he feels yeah. that now. Yeah. Uh, give him about 10 or 15 minutes and yeah. he, he might. When he, once he gets up I on the podium. The bad, brilliant fencing from uh, Lorenzo Roma. Yeah, it is, uh, that was it a is championship the, performance. Yeah, yeah, Our 2019 really. Junior Men's Sabre World Champion, Lorenzo Roma of Italy. Even if Matteo Neri couldn't be here to repeat his performance from last year because of injury, the Italians still come away with the gold. And it is silver for George Dragomir, and I, I, I can tell from just looking at him uh, out on the field of play, he does not feel particularly happy with the silver medal just at the moment. But he'll get over that, and he's still connected to the spool. Um, I think he's gone over to talk to the referee. No, or shake just their hands shake his yeah. hand. No, no, I think that... Yeah, they, it, he's got yeah, nothing I, to be ashamed of. I, I think uh, he tried a lot of things to change the match, but uh, in this case, uh, Lorenzo was better, uh, was fencing better. It's difficult. Yeah, but uh, I mean, Lorenzo yeah, looks yeah. like the star. I yeah, think he's yeah. going to be. Yeah, like uh, uh, like uh, like the final before. Okay, but they was trying to change, trying to do, but Mihaila, uh, this was uh, yeah. uh, her day today. Yeah, exactly. To shine. And Sometimes you can you can try a lot of things, but it's not working. Well, we've got two new world champions, and we've got a medal ceremony to come. So we want to say thank you to Nikolai Matia for coming and joining us here, and I hope that we will see you again during this during this week. Uh, thank you very much. It was for me it was pleasure to be with you and enjoy the the very good fencing. Yeah, excellent fencing. And not only in fencing, the refereeing course on top level. I'm very satisfied with the but performance. But what would you expect from the FIE referees other than top level referees? Yeah. Yeah. All right, we're going to take a short break and we'll be back with the medal ceremonies in just a few minutes while they get set up. Stay with us, we'll be back. <laughs> 